I'm Daniel, and welcome back to Frosty Reviews. Yes, we are back here in the House of Pain, ready for another Frosty. It's gonna be a good one. I just wanna say what's up? What's going on? You know, the last beer was really good, but we're taking a little detour this time. I bought this beer probably a year ago, so I don't even, I don't even know if it's still good or not, but you know, fuck it, we're gonna do it anyways. This beer is called Big Black Cowbell. <laughs> That's right. Um, it, it's, an, it's a hoppy imperial stout from Buffalo Bayou Brewing Company here in Houston, Texas. It's rocking at 10.4, 10.4 ABV. Um, I could not find the IBUs on this beer online or on the bottle. So if y'all can find it, shoot it in the comments. Let me know. This is like one of those, um, like a Maker's Mark looking bottle with the, you know, with the um, wax on top. Yeah, so it's a cool, cool looking bottle, man. I'm excited. I'm excited. Before we get to that, today's shirt comes from Derek Wida, DerekWida.com. He is a fitness person, uh, I guess you could say. He doesn't really, he's not like, I don't know, but that's what he does for a living. He does fitness stuff. He has like his, uh, he's a, you know, he's a disabled veteran. He actually lost one of his legs in Iraq. So the guy's just a beast, man. He gets after it and he's a, he's a above the knee FET, I believe. The dude's just a beast. So the shirt right here says adapt or die. And the back, I don't know if you can see the whole back of the shirt there, but it says, too stupid to quit. Which is basically me, while I'm standing up, we got some new shorts. Show off that thigh. <laughs> these are some new workout shorts, and um, these come from Rogue American Apparel. Uh, these are great workout shorts, but they are, I don't know if y'all if y'all have ever seen the movie that uh, Heat before, but it's an awesome bank robber movie. But they're really awesome. I mean, yeah, they're really colorful, but workout wise, they're really roomy. I have really big, you know, thighs, so able to move freely with those. In today's hat, this comes from Gracie Bada Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. That's where I train Jiu Jitsu. I don't know if you can buy this hat online or not. I'll have to look. But I know for sure I can put the links to the shirt and the shorts down in the description. Now I'm gonna work on taking this um, wax off. Hey babe, can you give me a solid? Can you give me a bottle opener? Thanks babe. Nope, well, we gotta peel off some more. So macho man. I just wanna be a macho man. Nothing better than a sharp knife. My brother-in-law told me that. Good dude. Real American. There we go. All right, so this is gonna be a dark, or I'm sorry, it is going to be a hoppy imperial stout. So, it typically, when any beer goes above or right at 10%, it kind of reaches that imperial stage where you people do call it an imperial, but basically all it means is like a stronger version of a regular stout. So yeah, it's a stout, imperial stout, and it's, uh, you know, it's really dark. Really dark. Makes sense for the name. <sighs> Smells... Subtle. It actually do smell. It actually do smell the hops. Cheers to all my frostos and frostettes. Hmm. Not too shabby. It is a tasty beverage. It is very. It tastes how it looks, okay? So, it's thick and it's, you know, it has a rich flavor of, um, 
like almost coffee. It basically tastes how it sounds, a hoppy imperial stout. So I really can't put my taste buds on this one. I haven't really tasted imperial stout like this before. So this is a little bit different for me. It's very smooth though. It's smooth. Like picture Shiner Bach, but in a stout version. Eh? Eh? <laughs> Mrs. Frosty is not amused. Ah, not bad. So there it is. Big Black Cowbell from Buffalo Brewing Company. Let's grade this puppy, huh? Shall we? It's good. It's not great. 7.4. 7.4. Uh, it's not a trash beer. It's not a great beer, but it, it, is, it is drinkable. And I mean, if I see it again, I might pick up another bottle, but probably not. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. I'm Daniel. Stay frosty. <laughs> you don't like that, honey?